You like come now, you come here. Yeah. Breaking news, guys. Um, PNG Power no got money, so travel go to China, lo asking Beijing or Chinese people. Um, the government there, shout out to the Chinese, they they helped us in some parts too. But, um, yeah, PNG Power travel go to China, lo ask him some bloody legal number. So, you may just watch and see what happens. Um, this is from Seven News, I think it was uh, yesterday's news. Um, Man, I, I feel sorry for the next generation of Papua New Guineans, man. We're just out here being pimped. Blackouts are so common in Papua New Guinea, there's even a song about them. But Seven News can reveal when it comes to the electricity network of our closest neighbour, Australia has been left in the dark. The CEO of state-owned provider travelling to China open to investment, saying the Chinese are very easy to deal with, admitting he's open to Beijing filling a void left by Canberra. When China fronts up, the US and Australia start rushing. Otherwise, it's very hard to get their attention. Australia is very reactive. Chinese entrepreneurs see the gap, I don't know where their funding's coming from. These reports are deeply concerning. Uh, they certainly signify a potential failure on the part of the Albanese government and they require urgent action. Strategically, PNG is critically important to Australia as Beijing seeks influence in the South Pacific. Buying the energy assets would give it control over all generation, transmission, distribution and retail power assets in the country. It presents as a significant prize for China to expand its influence in the Pacific. PNG has one of the highest rates of power outages in the world, but the world's highest power prices, paying twice as much as Australians. Less than a year ago, the minister responsible issued a parliamentary plea. PNG Power has reached a critical point where all financial indications show that this company is in danger of insolvency. Now it's a diplomatic danger for Australia. And Australia has made contributions to the PNG power network as part of a $500 million partnership with our allies. Foreign Minister Penny Wong is actually currently travelling to Fiji for the Pacific Islands Forum. No doubt she'll face questions on this tomorrow. So what do you guys think about this? Comment down below. Let's all have a chat. I'm not going to say anything else. Uh, people might think this is too personal for me, but when it concerns our country, everything's fucking personal. Damn. Globetrotters out here just fucking us from all angles.